my body, my health, me and my doctors try to take care of it. Here's some of what we do. Hi everybody, my name is Deborah, also known as Dubage42, and today is my take on one of my biggest health problems, and a big health problem for a lot of people, not only in this country, but around the world. Diabetes. Now I am what they call a type two diabetic. Now, little knowledge blurb here. Type one diabetes and type two diabetes are actually completely different things. Type one uh, is an autoimmune disease where your body attacks, basically, this is simple, you know, block diagram terms here, basically attacks your pancreas and then you don't produce insulin anymore or you can't use it anymore. Okay, type two diabetes tends to be an endocrine disorder. Now, that said, I am not a medical doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not gonna go through all the explanations for you. If you need more explanations, I'll have some links down below for you, okay? One of the things that people don't realize is that diabetics can still do everything that everybody else can do. Um, I can still, if I want to, have that piece of cake. Um, I can still have a drink. I can do those things because I've learned how to manage my disease and not let it completely manage me. One of the ways I do that is I am an insulin dependent type two diabetic. I have to have insulin every day. I actually use an insulin pump. Let's reach in here. This little guy, notice it has a little cord with it. This is continuously pumping insulin into my body. Uh, in little small trickle-ish amounts all the time. Actually, there are a couple of different rates set in here for daytime and nighttime because that's what my body needs is some different rates. And you can also tell it when you're eating. You test your blood sugar, put the number in, and then you dial up how many amounts of carbs you're eating. Yes, when you're diabetic, you learn how to count your carbs like a freaking mathematician, okay? You count your carbs, you enter it in, this gives you a nice steady dose to help cover that food. And then your blood sugar doesn't get too high or too low and it's all good. I'm going to put this back because holding it is kind of a pain. Yes, they do come with clips. I'm kind of clumsy and I have broken every single clip I've ever gotten with it. So now it lives in my bra. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> Another way that people take insulin is through just shots get to that in a moment. People wonder, well, how do you hook that to you? Do you move it? Is it there permanently? It's not there permanently. It's there for about three days and then you change it out with a new unit and move it elsewhere. Um, otherwise, it would get real weird scar tissue and that would be gross. The first thing you do is you take this out of its little package, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm not ready to do it, and you fill it up. Mine holds about 300 units of insulin. I put about 300 units of insulin in this little sucker and that is what ends up in the pump. Ta-da! Just changed it out this morning. See, it sits in here and a little mechanism pushes it up ever so slowly, delivering it into my body. This little guy though, this is the Medtronic Mini Med. This is an expensive little sucker right here. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you have to change them out every so often, every few days. It's an interesting mechanism. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up so you can see what it does. Take off wrapping. Peel off more wrapping. A lot of wrapping in this. little pop-off lid. Okay, what the hell? There we go. I have to be careful opening it up because you don't want to mess with too much of the stuff inside. Here's the cord. Now you do have to unwrap the cord from its little holder here. Da da da, da da da. See this little guy here? There's a blue plastic doohickey covering a needle, okay? Underneath is the thing that gets stuck to you. This is adhesive. Hear that click? 
Notice how it's reduced. It's a little plunger. There are little finger things on the side. Basically, when I'm ready to put this on, I will push it up against whatever body part it's going to, and I squeeze, watch closely. Yeah, that pushes it in. Now I'm just gonna set this aside because I'll be able to put this away and use it for later. But that is done all the time. My first time doing it, I was scared shitless. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. And yes, you go to coaching and training. I had to follow the directions in a book. Now I can do it while talking on the phone at work. And I have done it before like that. Um, but you, it's what you get used to. But it keeps me alive. It keeps my numbers great. If you know anything about diabetes, you'll know these what these numbers mean. Um, my A1C, before I started using the pump, was anywhere from 11 to 13. Yeah, that is sucktacular. That was with taking shots. Started using the pump. Now my numbers, and I've been using the pump for a couple of years, stay in the very low sevens, usually around seven to 7.1. Still not as low as they would like, but the doctor is freaking pleased because he knows where I was before. I still have to take metformin along with this. Most of the time, people don't have to take metformin with insulin. My body still resists using the insulin. I have a bad case of insulin resistance. So metformin, insulin, other stuff, we make it work. Now shots, that's another thing. First of all, here's a vial of insulin. Partially used. It's been living in the fridge. Humalog. See this bunch out of it? These are expensive like very expensive. Look it up, you won't like it. These are syringes. Just an example of syringes because you can get different ones. Um, when I was taking just shots, I was using these little guys, so I keep them spare every now and again that you get a problem with the pump, you get something happening, you gotta have something available to inject this stuff into your body. This little guy, if you're afraid of needles, Get over it. That is a needle. It's not big. It's not a big scary needle. This isn't something that goes into your vein or anything. If you see somebody taking a shot of insulin, they're not looking for a vein like, I don't know, like a junkie or something. This gets put basically, it's subcutaneous, just under the skin. That's where you're putting it. So you look for those fleshy bits. My lower belly gets a lot of shots, or that's where my pump lives a lot of the times. You'll sometimes see me wearing my pump on the back of my arm, um, where, where the cannula is. That's where it's stuck to me, and then the pump still lives on my bra. Um, people have their different preferences. Some people can wear theirs down on their hip. Not very comfortable for me. But this, you can shoot yourself in any one of those places. Um, you inject yourself, you know, whatever. I tend to make very casual, weird names out of things. Yes, shoot yourself with this little tiny insulin vial, okay? Keep them as a spare, then you have to dispose of them properly. <sighs> it's really annoying, but it's a lifesaver. It is. Now, as far as the choice of whether to go insulin pump or, you know, just injecting insulin, that's a discussion for you and your doctor, like it was for me and my doctor. Um, with the insulin syringes, I was having to give myself anywhere from three to five shots a day. No, they don't hurt. It's just annoying to have to deal with it and dose and do the thing and blah, 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 carry all the stuff with you. This way, about once every three days, I get stuck. You know the worst thing about it? The adhesive, where it sticks to you, like I got, one on my belly down here right now, which you cannot see from where the video is angled. But when you go to pull it off, it's like, ow. I mean, kind of like a Band-Aid. But it does my body good. That, eating well, and trying to be active. There are people who will say, oh, how can you be body positive? You're celebrating obesity. No. Screw you. Nicely. Um, I'm trying to celebrate the fact that I'm alive walking on this planet. 
in the body that I've got. That's just one way I help take care of it. You might do different things. Matter of fact, you probably do. We are all very different. But don't hate on the person that you see um, wearing a diabetes pump. I've had people ask me if it's a pager, which is kind of funny because it does look like a page. Remember pagers? I know I'm old. This looks kind of like a pager. It's a little heavier than a pager, but no, not a pager. Just the thing that helps keep me alive. Yeah. What's your health concern? What do you do that maybe you'd probably rather not to help keep you healthy, to help keep you walking on the planet amongst the living, as we say? As the living say, hell, I don't know who says that. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you do for your diabetes. Could be interesting. Probably very different than what I do. Might be very much the same. It's always fun to look at and talk about. Click up here for some more of my takes on some very different subjects. Down here, I'd love it if you would subscribe. And please click like before you go. See ya.